What's going on guys and welcome back to another day at the winery build. Day six, I just got some material dropped off. We have three units of 5 8 roof sheathing, then a little stack of 10 down there. Anyways, if you guys are new here or you don't know who I am, my name is Matt Pinella. I am a 23 year old carpenter out of Central California. We do new construction builds and apparently rebuild wineries. So today is day six on this project. Now Fox and I have been working on blocking on this wall. We need to get this thing stood this morning. After that, we've got walls on the other unit over there that we're working on as well. Everything's already laid out. We need to get over there and get to it. But today's gonna be a productive day. All right, guys, we're gonna get blocking wrapped up in this wall here. We need to get this thing up. Hopefully before like 10 o'clock, 8.07 right now. If we can't have this thing up in two hours, we need to all quit. This wall is complete. He's trying to clear a path right now to where we can get the reach left in here. Since they put that little moat around our building, we're not really sure we're gonna be able to hit this wall. This wall is not light. We can't shoot it on the ground because there's no way in hell we'll be able to lift it. So we're hoping we're able to hit it from there. So we've been using three straps in total, two small ones on the side, one in the center to go up, and it's worked out pretty well. That extension that we have for our lift is probably the best thing we've ever done. So with our concrete wall in place, it makes it really hard to get the lift where it should be out here. We have to try and pick from back there. Mm-hmm. 
PLS. Six G. You can see our laser mark right there. I've got an inch and a half mark, which is what it is, way down there from the post to the laser. So we're gonna watch, and when that hits there, we're gonna let them know to nail it. These walls don't rack too easy, so he's gonna hit it with a reach lift. One more. Hold. Nail it. It'll rebound. We're damn near spot on right there. It's a little bit over, but when we let go of it with the lift, guarantee that thing's gonna go back to the line. So when we nailed that brace up, we went too far that way because I knew for a fact as soon as he let go of it with the lift, it was gonna rebound just a little bit. Sure enough, it did, and we're spot on with our line.
Look at that wall, you guys. Look at that wall. Put a smile on my face instantly. It's big, it's a monster. Let's count the block lines. We've got one running across the bottom. We've got our perforated going. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Nine block lines. That is a grip of blocks. And let's count how many bays do we got? One, two, three, four, five. So we have in total nine block lines high, 40 bays. That's right around 400 blocks that went into just that. Q and I are heading off to lunch. Where are we going today, buddy? You decide. Okay. Burrito Wednesday, 325? That's cheap. What I want to do is put the hardware and stuff in the box. Hardware and nails. Okay. We'll go in that rigid box. So we're actually looking at calling it quits a little bit earlier. We have some other stuff to take care of. Trailer needs to be moved off of a different job site. So we're gonna roll up here, head on out for the day. So we're all rolled up, everything is put back inside of the trailer and we are pretty much ready to take off. Now in the comment section, you guys have been asking me if the fires in California have affected us in any way. And they really haven't. They're not close enough to be a danger to us or anything like that. But the one thing they have affected is material delivery. So we're using all LSL studs. They're 18 foot long, they're all special order. The studs that we have on this project came from two different mills. One of them was able to get delivered and the second one, not yet. During the fires here in California, they shut that mill down completely. They weren't even operating, they weren't delivering. So orders backed up like crazy. We have yet to get the LSL from that yard. They're scheduled for delivery tomorrow, but we're taking off a little bit early today because we don't have enough studs to finish this wall. So we could get it banged out, start doing blocking, but we wouldn't be able to go any further. Day seven, we'll start up on this guy, get this whole thing banged out. We'll have enough studs to finish it all out, block everything. Rather get it started on the same day that we finish and stand it. But that is all we have time for, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. Drop a comment down below. Ask me any questions building related, and I will see you guys in our next video. Hang on.